What is up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another week of Miatas at the Gap Prep. We're getting pretty close here. I've got the last piece in the mail. This is the new keyway. So I think today we can just about finish up the engine. We're gonna go downstairs, put the crank together now. We can put this keyway in, the new crank gear, and then we can put the time belt on. So I wanna go over today how to set up the timing belt. It is gonna be pretty easy for me since my engine is out of the car. If you're doing this job in the car, you're gonna have to remove a lot of things to get to this point and there's lots of great videos on how to do that i'll link some of them below but i'm just going to start at the point where you have the engine torn down you have the old belt off of course you're going to want to make sure you set everything to top dead center before you pull the belt off the old belt off it's actually pretty simple on the Miata, and it's not an interference engine so you don't have to worry about messing anything up like that but i'll point out all the timing marks on the miata where everything needs to be pointing and you should be good to go All right, we've got ourselves a timed engine. I turned the engine over twice. Timing marks came up both times. We are good. This is a little tricky to do by yourself. It actually took me a few tries to get it lined up correctly. So a few tips. You saw me put a zip tie around one of the gears first. The exhaust cam would actually sit pretty well at the timing mark. So I put the belt over the exhaust cam first as well as the crankshaft. I then used the zip tie to hold the belt in place on the exhaust cam. Then on the intake side, I had to use a wrench to pull the cam into position while I tried to get the belt on at the same time. You're also going to need to keep an eye on the crank to make sure it does not move while you're trying to get it onto the second cam gear. That's what tripped me up a few times, and that's where an extra set of hands will come in handy. But you can do it by yourself. I got it done. It just might take you a few tries. I had the belt off of one of the idler loader pulleys while I was trying to get it on the second gear. Once I got it on the second cam gear, last thing I did was get it over the idler pulley. And just make sure your tensioner bolt is tight. Turn the engine over by the crank a few times and make sure all three of your timing marks line up. If they do, you're good to go. Also, another little trick on Miatas that you can use to make sure that you're lined up properly is in between the cam gears, there should be 19 teeth in between the timing marks. So start your count with this tooth here on the inside of this timing mark. Count the teeth up until this one right here on the inside of this timing mark. It should be 19 teeth if you got it set correctly. All right, I'm getting ready to install this clutch. I'm using the Exidy OEM replacement and I've mentioned this before, but I'm gonna mention it again because it's important. XD has a few different clutches they offer for the Miata. There's the OEM replacement, there's a stage one, and there might even be like a stage two or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I know for sure they have the OEM and the stage one. If you got the OEM kit, do not use the bearings that come with it. They're cheaper, like made in China bearings, and they're gonna go out on you prematurely. If you got the stage one kit, you should be fine to use the bearings that come with it, but the OEM kit, the bearings that come with it are not good. I used an OEM Mazda pilot bearing and for the throw out bearing I've got a Timken bearing. So pay attention to that if you're using an XD OEM clutch kit. But other than that this should be pretty straightforward. Kit comes with the clutch and the pressure plate and a little clutch alignment tool so we're just going to pop this in and it should be pretty easy. Alright, 
pretty easy. The pressure plate bolts get torqued to 14 to 19 foot pounds. I actually ended up using my inch pound torque wrench because my foot pound torque wrench is half inch drive and that's really 14 18 is really at the very bottom of the range on that and it just doesn't work very well that low so i actually use my inch pound torque wrench set to 170 inch pounds and worked pretty good but yeah just make sure you pay close attention to those torque specs on the pressure plate bolts they don't take a whole lot i have snapped off one of the bolts in the flywheel before and luckily i was able to fix it but yeah this thing's ready to uh, get made it up to the transmission now All right, and the drivetrain is officially mounted back in the car. We're in very good shape now. I'm gonna spend this week just buttoning all this stuff up. Should be fairly easy from here on out, but that's where I'm gonna wrap this video. Hopefully it wasn't too random and all over the place. I didn't film a lot of the stuff this week just because I was trying to get a lot of stuff done as quickly as I could. We're getting really close to Miyaz at the Gap now, pretty much about a week and a half from now. So I'm getting pretty excited, very excited to drive this thing again. But for now, I'm going to go. Hopefully those timing belt tips could help you if you have to do this job on your Miata. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome week, and we'll see you in the next one.